Now, there are a number of different verb tense rules on the SAT. So when we look at these answer choices and we see that the verbs are changing, we have to think about what might be going on. Um, it's definitely not the singular and plural rule. Most of these are not words that can be changed based on singular and plural subjects. But um, I do notice an, an ing, a two. So maybe that's the thing is we have to think about what I call the two and ing rule. But then again, this is like the future tense. This is the past. So maybe it's generally what I would call the past, present, future. It's hard to say. I don't really spend too much time thinking about it. At this point, once I know it's not singulars and plurals, I can kind of just look at it and, and maybe hear the answer. So let's, let's look at the whole passage. From 1912 to 1951, uh, Carlotta Bass owned and operated the newspaper, The California Eagle. While it was under Bass's leadership, The Eagle blank, one of the U.S.'s most influential black-owned newspapers. Well, it was under it, so it's the past tense, so it's not the will become. Became seems right. What about these other ones? The eagle is becoming? No, it's already, it was 1912 to 1951, so it's already over. And the eagle to become doesn't even sound good. So yeah, it's really more about this past, present, future thing. It's, a, it's about a, a newspaper in the past, so we need a past tense word to describe it. It's good to read the whole passage when that's the rule so that you kind of know the full context, but um, most of you are just going to hear the answer, and that's fine. This, this is a, a case where our instincts are probably pretty reliable.